Hello, and it's a great day for football here at the Edward Jones Dome. Dan Stevens here with Peter O'Keefe at my side. And Peter, tell us what you think about this matchup. Dan, we should see one heck of a battle down there on the field. And just look at these guys. Marshall Falk enters this one with one thing on his mind, tearing it up on the ground. And we all know he can do just that. And warming up over here is someone who is just as capable of putting on a clinic. Bryant Young comes in, and let me tell you, he has a real mean streak in him, Dan. The quarterback size tell part of the story. The numbers tell the rest. During his career on defense, he's averaged three tackles and a sack every other game. Okay, Peter, now let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Cortez will kick it off to start the first half. The kick is up. Lyle feels this one. The 35. This is a nice starting point for this drive. The special teams gave them really decent field position. Ball on the 47. Let's just march right on down the field on these stuff. Tight end is lined up left side. Warner fades back. Throws. Great pass by the five-year man out of Northern Iowa. Peter, let's run down the Rams' offense. First up, the offensive line. Orlando Pace inspires his teammates to give it their all on every play. Next up are the receivers. Isaac Bruce generates a lot of excitement with his aerial theatrics. In his career, he's averaged 77 yards on four catches a game. And last but not least, we have these three gentlemen. Marshall Falk grabs a lion's share of the attention. During his career as a back, he's averaged 78 yards and just under a touchdown a game. Back to the field now. Warner drops back. Throws. They bring him down immediately. Falk with the ball. down. Peter, let's go over the starting defensive players for the 49ers. First up, the defensive line. Bryant Young is who I'll be checking out from this group. He energizes this squad in a big way. Next up are the linebackers. Derek Smith knows whether it's a run or a pass before the rest do. And lastly, the secondary. Ahmed Plummer disrupts pass attempts all day long. Let's get back to the game. Warner fades back. Throws. Caught in the flats. Five. Number 60. Warner rolls outside. Throws. It'll be fourth down. They rolled out. There's the kick. Good. He's accurate from that range, and he proves it there. Jeff Wilkins hits this through the uprights without too much hassle. Straight down the pipe. Yeah, nice kick, and the special team squad is happy about that, and they love to get away. Strong kick. Sutherland catches it in the end zone. Makes the start. First with the carry. Spins free. Garcia drops back. Sits tight. Out of the throw. Third and long coming up. Peter, let's go over the starting offensive players for the 49ers. Let's begin with the offensive line. Ron Stone keeps the quarterback healthy, and he and his line are ready to go. Up now are the receivers. Terrell Owens can break the game wide open when he gets the ball. In his career, he's averaged 67 yards and just under a touchdown a game. Finally, here's the general and his next in command. Jeff Garcia gives this trio its punch. During his career as quarterback, he's averaged 230 yards and just under two touchdowns a game. Okay, back to the action. Garcia is back. Sits in the pocket. Throws. Listen into the call. Holding. Number 74. Yari 
Gets set after committing the penalty. Throws. The 40. 40. Owens turned what was a decent pass completion into a fantastic game. Get a load of this. He sees an opportunity and grabs it with both hands. You can't coach that. No, I tell you, it's like getting a B minus on a test, but bumping it up to an A with the extra credit. On that last play, Garcia drops back, drops way back, barely gets it off. Good throw by the four-year man. Four wide receivers on the field. Garcia fades back. Sits in the pocket. Throws. A gain of 12. Jeff Garcia with the completion. It's the end of the first quarter. The Rams currently enjoying a small advantage. 3 to 0. more time. That's a really dynamite throw for the score. When a receiver and a quarterback work this well together, anything is possible. Throws. He's taken down, and that's his third reception. Warner comes back. Throws. Incomplete. Warner drops back. Throws. The pass falls in. Warner rolls out. Throws. Somehow he slipped through the defense to pick up a handful of extra yards. Nice move for the first down. He connects with his receiver with ease, Dan. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync there, able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. They actually look like Backstreet. Warner fades back. Throws. Good catch by the 13-year man. Fault will run through the right side. Fault with the carry. Open field wide right. A 20. Five. Touchdown. Garcia drops back. Throws. It's caught in the glass. Game of nine. First with the ball. Straight ahead for about three. There's space wide left. Herring takes the hit and takes him down after. Garcia takes back. Sits in the pocket. Throws incomplete. Jeff Garcia. Garcia drops back. Sits tight. Throws. Nice catch and a nice job at the 45. Hurst will run it. They go with the I formation. Garcia fades back. Intercepted! Williams is down after making a... Warner drops it back. Throws! Got over the middle. Spins! Beautiful catch. A terrific play for the... Ball with the carry. Through the three there. Gets a block. Brunson puts up a brick wall and stops him after a couple of yards. Warner is back and throws. A 20. Pass interference. Number 36. Defense. Warner comes back. Throws. Bruce was the intended receiver. Ball will run it. Juice. the kick. It's good. He makes the field goal. And we'll do it for the first half. Score 13 to 7. Let's go to Clark Dishman in the ESPN studios for a halftime update. Welcome to the ESPN halftime update. The Rams come into halftime congratulating their defense for shutting down the run. Impressive so far and a safe bet to be impressive in the second half.
Aeneas Williams has up to this point defended the pass well with a total of one interception and three tackles. That makes him our ESPN hot at the half player. That's our halftime report. I'm Clark Dishman with a reminder to tune in to the ESPN post game show at the conclusion of the game. Wilkins is ready for the second half kickoff. Got a lot behind this one. Wilson fields it in the end zone. 15. Ball at the 16-yard line. Garcia fades back. Keeps dropping back. This one has two in and split backfield. First with the carry. Spins three. Garcia drops back. Throws. That'll bring up fourth and very, very. Warner will run it. A 25. Makes back. Throws. That will bring up third and long. Corner. Drops back. Throws. Fourth and long. Points on the board on this drive. And keep it from getting away from him. Despite. Good takedown. Garcia. Drops back. Gets in the pocket. Throws. Incomplete. Keeps dropping back. Throws. His fifth grab on the day. Up with their tight end right. Garcia fades back. Drops way back. Throws. The pass is no good. In Cisco. So he's had his outs with the 49ers coaching staff. He's been very productive in his career there. Keeps dropping back. Barely gets it off. in the pocket. Throws. He's tackled and his stay formation. Garcia fades back. Sits tight. Barely gets it. He's down but past the chain gang. Garcia drops back. Throws. Incomplete pass. Kim Herring. Going with a split backfield. Garcia fades back. Drops way back. Throws. Pop to the score. And he had the time he needed to think that one through and then make a terrific pass for the score. Now he makes the throw, and it's a beaut. The O-line really dug in and gave him that protection, Peter. Everybody wanted that end zone pass to be perfect. Warner drops back, throws. It's tipped. The pass. It's the end of the third quarter. The Rams currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game, 16 to 14. Warner, eight back, throws. They tackle him. Warner drops back, throws. Holt was looking for the ball, but Warner, eight back, throws. Game of 14. Warner drops back. Throws. Young with the tackle. His first stop will be. Warner fades back. Throws. It'll be third and long. Jason Warner. Warner drops back. Throws. It'll be fourth and short. Yard line. First with the ball. Straight up the gun. First will run. Garcia fades back, throws, fourth down, Garcia drops back, hits in the pocket, barely gets it up, he's wrapped up, but with nine, Garcia fades back, sits tight, throws, it's over to the middle, Duncan makes the tackle, that's number four, they have their tight end to the right, first with the carry, smashes ahead for close to, they line up in the eye. Garcia drops back, sits in the pocket, throws, nice tackle. No way that was going to be a completion. Garcia aids back, throws. Archuleta makes the tackle. Hurts with the ball. He's 
Nice job. Garcia drops back, drops way back. Hot on the way. Herring with. Garcia fades back. Sits tight. Throws. A 20. 10. Back down at the 11 yard line. Holding. Number 20. Lines up wide left after the big game last play. Throws. That will bring up third. They have two tight ends in. Keeps dropping back. Throws. Duncan. Garcia drops back. Sits in the pocket. Barely gets it off. The pass is incomplete. No good. They're going to have to turn the ball over. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. The Rams win a close one, 16 to 14. Well, that's all she wrote. Hey, everybody, on behalf of Peter O'Keefe, Michelle Westfall, and myself, Dan Stevens, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the ESPN Post Game Wrap Up coming up next. Clark Dishman here with the ESPN Post Game Show. Let's get started. The Rams come away with a two point nail biter over the 49ers. The Rams completely arrested the ground game today. Just look at the statistics. Their front four manhandled the line of scrimmage and was a big part in the win. Aeneas Williams stymied the passing game with a total of one interception and four tackles. He's our ESPN player of the game. Thanks for tuning in to today's post-game report. Be sure to catch all the games once the regular season starts right here on ESPN. This is Clark Dishman. We'll see you.